Okay, so we have uh, Creo running on one monitor and we have our textbook on the other monitor. Um, first thing you need to really do is check whether your working uh, directory is set to, to your Google Drive. So click on that one and check whether it's set to Google Drive up here and it's not. So if not, if it's not, click on your computer, click on Google Drive, click on My Drive, click on your 10th grade engineering and then click OK and then just make sure click on it again and you should see Google Drive now here on top and it's, it is. Okay, so that's the first thing you should do whenever you start Creo. Alright, so on your textbook, um, the first few pages uh, describes what Creo is all about and what you will see in Creo. Okay, so that definition here starts on page one over here. Um, it also will tell you if you go through it uh, some configurations that needs to be set up. Uh, your working directory in particular is um, very much important. Um, also some terms that we're going to be using uh, in Creo or in discussion. Um, there are some other things that might be boring for you uh, because it's you're not using it yet. But one of the things that's important is uh, the datum plane. Uh, which is represented by a, a three-dimensional figure showing your front plane, top plane, and right plane. Uh, also, it will also show you your inter user interface or the window that you're working on. So um, you have here your graphics toolbar and then you have here your, your uh, ribbon. Okay. So it will, it should tell you more details of that one and what will the ribbon uh, be talking about. Um, so here is what we're seeing in Korea right now. And you will have here your ribbon and you can input something here. Um, but the ribbon changes every single time you change something or um, want to do something. So you got a ribbon for the model for analysis for view, for tools, and for sketch. So they change every single time you want to do something. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're just simply going to uh, go to page 80. So we're gonna here, um, you can click on this three dots here and then click find and then type here eight zero and press enter and it should go, it should show you different locations where you you have a mention of page 80 and that's it and in page 80 we're going to begin with exercise 3 and task 1 so this will be your first graded activity in Creo completing task 1 and if that's too small for you to look at you can see always zoom in here and then uh, let's uh, follow step by step what what uh, Creo task 1 is telling us to do so first thing it says is Start a new session of Creo. Be sure you've added and applied a configuration. Uh, we skipped this portion over here. So how do you do that? You click File, New, or click this icon, and then the name would be 4455-001 for the name uh, of the part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Creo, we're going to click New, and we're going to select Part, and we're going to put here the name 4455-001, so 4455-001, but we need to also add first our first name, and then we're going to put an underscore, and then our first name, underscore again, and then that's where you will put in 4455-001, okay, so last name, first name, 4455-001, you're going to put underscores, and you're going to click OK. So now you have your first um, or the name of your task one here, okay? And this is now your datum plane. So you have a front plane, you have a, a right plane here, and then you got a top plane. So as you hover your mouse over them, they will highlight, okay? So going back now to our textbook, it says here that you will uh, select the right datum plane and then click the sketch icon in the model tab. So you're going to select the right um, datum plane. So select that with your mouse, okay? And then you're going to click on the sketch button here. When you so when you select the sketch button, all this ribbon will change. So when you click on that one, 
okay this ribbon has changed and you are now ready to draw a sketch so what sketch are you going to draw okay um, you are going to click the rectangle icon and you will sketch this rectangle you want to align the two sides of the rectangle to the dash reference line that means that the two sides the bottom and the left side must be aligned with the front and the top uh, reference lines say so here's your top and here's your I mean here's your top and here's your front reference lines and we're going to make a rectangle and so to make a rectangle it says that click the rectangle icon so the rectangle icon is over here so we're going to click on that one and the rectangle is drawn by pick, clicking two corners and we want the corner of the rectangle to start here and then we're going to just simply drag it and if you look at the book again the rectangle must be two by four so two wide and four uh, tall or long and we don't know what the size of this rectangle is because the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to uh, change the dimension okay to whatever this one is so it says that to do that we need to select the icon and then double click each dimension and enter the values as shown so first we need to put the dimension so we're going to click the select um, button over here and whatever you drew last will be highlighted okay uh, by the way this buttons over here tells us of uh, that the uh, this side is restricted okay that is res restricted to our horizontal line the side is restricted to a vertical line okay so if you want to put dimensions meaning measurements you want to click on this tool over here so we're going to click that and then we're going to point that to the left side so click again and when i say click i mean the left button leftmost button of the mouse and then go to the other side here and then left click again and then to put the dimension we're going to put it down here you have to use the middle button of the mouse and if your mouse doesn't have a mid middle button you're going to press on the scroll wheel so press that down click once and then it should put in the measurement of this rectangle which is seven right now and just press enter to accept that we will change this later so we're going to repeat the dimension and put the height over here so click dimension again click the top mouse and the bottom mouse go to the left and then middle click or the scroll wheel click and it will put in the dimension and press enter so right now when we drew this rectangle we don't know what it was or what the size was but right now we we it says that the size is 7 by 9.287 so we are going to change this so make sure you are you have select so you are in the select mode and then you can double click the one of the dimensions let's change this first so double click and then you can now put this the measurement and the book says that it needs to be a two and the height is four okay so we're going to put two and press enter and it will shrink the dimension and this one double click is going to be four press enter and it's now have it now has shrunk that dimension okay um after doing that one it says that um you need to now uh, click the check mark to complete the sketch and then orient the model using standard orientation and it should look like this okay so we simply go back here and click the check mark over here to finish sketching when i click ok this whole ribbon on top will change again so click ok see the whole ribbon change again and now you are in um, the front dimension and you wanted the book says that you wanted the standard orientation so the good standard orientation you simply go to one of these buttons over here i think this one here click on that one and you can click on standard orientation and here it is okay we are we are a little far from the view and we can always zoom by clicking on this plus sign okay click on it once and then what we're going to do is we're going to make a window to go closer here by clicking holding it down making a box releasing the box and it should uh, releasing the box and click again and you are now going to get closer to that view so this is basically what we were trying to do okay uh, there's a little bit difference because this is a textbook for Creo parametric 7 uh, but uh, how to do it is the same uh, some figures might be a little different okay but this is exactly what we wanted to do we wanted to draw a rectangle on the uh, right uh, datum plane and that's 
that's this window here so let's go back to um, the select tool you just press escape Oop. Oop. escape Oop. change that oh and zoom every everything you this one means look at everything and we want to go and return back to zoom and click again this one's like zoom all okay so now that we can see that this is uh, that we're correct in drawing this one we are now ready to save our work so it says save the part read the message in the message area and then click file and close the icon okay so we're just going to click um, save and to save that you can just click on this one and then make sure that it is saving the correct with the correct name Melendez Alum uh, first last name first name four four five five dash zero zero one and where is it saving in your engineering 10th grade engineering folder okay and um, simply click OK and now it's saved okay so that is task one